your automobile? I'd love to. Oh, Grand Mary, may I? No, my dear, not until after tea. Now come sit down and look on your sampler. Yes, Grand Mary. What did you hear, Sam? What a fine sample. What does it say? It's going to say actions speak louder than words. But I'm not quite finished yet. Well, I bet actions take longer than words, too. It looks like you've been stitching for a long time. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been working and working on it, of course. And I'm practicing the piano for an hour every day and trying to keep my clothes tidy and trying not to get in any scraps with Eddie Riley, too. Because I'm earning a doll. Earning a doll? Yes. The most beautiful doll in the world. You should see her Uncle Bard. She looked just like my mother did, so I had named her Lydia. Grand Mary said I can earn her by acting like a proper young lady. That's right. I said we shall see how well you do. You must want that doll very much, Sam. Oh yes, Uncle Gard, I do. She will be my best friend. The only person I have to play with now is Eddie Riley, and he's not a friend. He's a pest. Samantha, young ladies do not call people pests. I'm sorry, Grand Mary. It's awfully hard to act like a young lady when I think about Eddie. He's always teasing. The other day, he said a girl was coming to live in his house. He probably made that up. I wish it were true, though. I like having a girl next door to be my friend. I can see why you need that doll, Sam. Maybe I can help you earn it. Shall I do some stitches for you? Now let's see. Who's the top of this thing? No, thank you, Uncle <laughs> Garth. That wouldn't be fair. I'd better do it myself. You've done quite well, Samantha. I've been very pleased with your efforts in the past. You show me by your actions that you can be a young lady. I think you have earned this. Oh, oh, Grand Mary. Oh, she's even more beautiful than I remember. Thank you. I love her. Take good care of her, my dear. I will. She will be my finest treasure. I will keep her forever and ever. I promise I will. New York is always busy, but in the summer, Samantha can especially enjoy the chorus of sounds and smells. The clip-clop of a horse pulling the dairy wagon, the smells of fresh loaves of rye and wheat bread from the bakery wagon, the grinding wheels of carts and trolleys, and the calls of pushcart vendors selling their wares. Each day seems the same for Samantha, and she longs for change. <laughs> 